Hi. So this is baby Aria. She's five and a half months old and she's definitely starting to like push herself up. I think she's getting ready to maybe crawl because look what's over there. I'm, I've been putting a little bit of her toys a little bit out of her reach just so that she reaches and look at this. She's gonna get her hips almost off the ground. Here, let's try it. Did you get it? Did you get it? Here, here, ready? Just have to reach a little bit. making the magnolia banana pudding that I so like. Um, I've heard a lot about it and then once uh, at a party I tried it and it was so amazing and I was like this must take hours to make. However, it only takes a few minutes per day for two days to get this achieved. So that's what I'm going to be making today. But first, we need a helper. We have Sous Chef Bebu. Okay. So we have all the ingredients here. Forgive my desk, it's full of, um, my kitchen desk, it's full of stuff. So what we need is condensed milk. We are a great fan of great value, of course. Um, speaking of great value, we're gonna be making tacos tonight and so that's why these are here. We're trying to convert her from breast to bottle. It's been very stressful. I have about 15 bottles at home from my attempt to try different bottles. Of course, we need wine right here. Don't do this at home, kids. It is so stressful to take a baby from breast to bottle. It is almost, it, it can make any parent depressed, I would say. So condensed milk, vanilla, and we need ice cold water. So the recipe that I'm gonna follow is actually from a, a website that they got from the Magnolia um, book. It calls for one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, one and a half cups of ice cold water, one 3.4 ounce of vanilla instant pudding, yes, uh, four cups of sliced barely ripe bananas, which I have right here four of these, although sometimes I use a little bit more. One fourth cup, and then one cup of ice cold water, and one box of vanilla wafers. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Of course, great value brand. Okay, so, so I will be starting with a Pyrex container. Okay, just keep dropping it. One fourth cup of condensed milk. So in a large bowl, beat together sweetened condensed milk and water until well combined. Welcome back. Sorry, the other sand disc 
became full, so I had to get another one. For a little bit, for a little bit of fall decor, my Yankee Candle. This one is cranberry chutney. It's not as flavorful as the pumpkin flavors, um, but I wanted to try it, and so I got it. It's a little hot today, but it makes me feel like it's fall. Want this out of the way? There you go. There you go. Okay, so I'm mixing this. Add pudding mix and beat well. So now I have to add in my pudding mix, which this is 3.4 ounces of it, and I'm gonna mix it into this container. added a 14 ounce of sweetened condensed milk. I've added one and a half cups of water and I just went ahead and put in this um, 3.4 ounces of vanilla instant pudding. I'm about to mix it. So I don't have a hand mixer or I guess this is my hand which is mixing it so I have a mixer of sorts but I don't have the electronic one but I've made this before and even without the electronic one this works pretty well the sous chef is very demanding these days I'm just getting rid of all the pockets of uh, pudding So this part's a little harder when you don't have a um, handheld mixer, um, but I would say that if you had a choice between buying a handheld mixer and just doing it by hand, just for this uh, recipe, it's not worth it to buy the handheld mixer. I think just doing it by hand is fully sufficient again, as I mentioned before. Is that good? Is that good? You want to play in your baby Einstein? Or do you want to go in your uh, skip hop? Well, I won't bother her, as she hasn't bothered me until she... And then I'll put it in the skip pop to distract her a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Try harder. Oh, I'll let you hold it. I'll let you hold it. I'll let you hold it. You got it? Thank you. Oh, no. It doesn't work. Hasn't worked in the past week. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get her out of the way because I have to put things in the um, fridge. Okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, ready? She's getting out of the frame, out of the frame, out of the frame. She's, she's still in the frame. And I'm about to put this in the fridge for three to four hours so that it gelatinizes. And then tomorrow's portion will be with the whipping cream, which I have in the fridge, another great value brand, um, bananas, and uh, that's it. So I will be back. Bye. All right, so I just mixed my whipping cream in the mixer, and I'm going to blend it into my um, gelatin kind of substance that I put in the fridge for about three to four hours, and I'm gonna mix it together. and make my banana pudding. Okay. So one third nilla, one third banana, and one third this. Yes. 
so vanilla wafers. My husband's still sleeping. He's so tired from this uh, this week that he just needs a, a full day's nap. Yes, what? Are you having fun back there? one third layer of this whipping cream. there are three layers or two layers I'm sorry and so I'm ready to make another batch in this one because it makes plenty Hello. Right? so today we are doing a weekend in the life of a physician a primary care doctor <laughs> of a cancer doctor he won't let me go with him to actual work because he thinks it's a disturbance oh my gosh my eyes just started watering for a second but you see he is fully bearded to show his uh, age. He doesn't want to come off too young. We are about to go to his office, which is a walking distance from our building. And of course, Bebu is here. Now the reason we're going to the office is because somebody has learned to pre-charge. We are currently experiencing very technical difficulties with her trying to transition to the bottle. She refuses. So we've tried many, many difficult um, tasks and different uh, bottles and none of it is working and tonight for dinner I'm gonna show you what I made I am making a um, fiesta um, chipotle bowl with grilled chicken black beans rice although I should make some rice but we do have some leftover rice that I want to finish actually is that the palau or the palau and the leftover white rice and then we have cilantro we have uh, pineapples and um, corn, sour cream, salsa. We have everything basically. And um, oh, boss baby's over here, man. She is totally bossing it out. She is bossing it out. Um, so we will be doing that. And then of course you saw me make the banana pudding earlier. So that will be for dessert. And that will be dinner for tonight. I'm gonna run and walk. Oh, oh my god, she jumped! <laughs> I should show you the footage! So we just made a burrito bowl dinner. Ah, we forgot to put in cheese. Oh, cheese is right here, yes. The Fiesta Blend cheese from Great Value Brand, of course. And then we have in here the pineapples, black oh. bean. Gotcha. Uh, pineapple, uh, cheese, Fiesta blend, uh, tomatoes, and these are the fancy tomatoes that we got from the farmer's market, so they're very fresh and they don't taste like the typical cardboard. We've got onions in here, um, rice with cilantro, and sour cream, and a little bit of corn and, yeah, oh sorry, oh shoot, oh that's okay. There you go, Daddy. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to my channel. So today is Sunday, September 20th, and I am going to be making pancakes from scratch. Oh, what you heard was sous chef Bebu, and she will be getting into the frame soon. All right, so I'm making a four person serving of pancakes, and then we're gonna do our Jimmy Dean sausage and um, we're gonna have one egg each so for a balanced breakfast for my husband, myself, and baby will eat indirectly.
So I just put an egg in and I have to do half an egg. I don't know how I'm gonna split this up into half an egg. I might just put the whole egg in because if you do half an egg, I feel like it's like gone. So the other thing is our bathroom sink is clogged up and my husband has to, oh, my husband has to declog it, which makes me think I should put the declogger on my Amazon want list. And that shall add up, because we don't have Amazon Prime, that shall add up to $12. We are saving money and we cannot afford Amazon Prime right now. <laughs> And start. So I just put one egg in. I'm not going to use half an egg because I feel like that wastes um, an egg and these eggs are fairly expensive. And then I put half a teaspoon of salt. I'm about to put one and a half teaspoons of white sugar. So half, one and a half teaspoons of white sugar. Chair of medicine, Med Star Washington Hospital. Oh, oh. chair of medicine. Milk, half cup, and two tablespoons. See, where they have like this multiple myeloma hematology patients. Oh, because you're in a big city, yeah. you'll be dealing with Georgetown Hospital. Can you do that or no? Okay. But then, how will you practice anything else? It, it, it becomes hard, so that's, that's hard. But I think any big city you will have to do it this way. Medical Oncology and Pedology Institute, BC2. A very comprehensive salary and signing bonus, medical dental insurance, paid my practice, generous paid time off, CME and CME allowance, and time is that, 403B and personal bar match. Medstar Georgetown Cancer Institute at Medstar South Island Hospital. Medstar Georgetown? I didn't know Georgetown had uh, farmed out. I farmed out. Farmed out. Daddy, I saw you looking. one and a half teaspoons of butter melted. I added one egg instead of half an egg because I didn't want to waste the egg. I added half a cup and two tablespoons of milk, one and a half teaspoons of white sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt, and one and three fourth teaspoons of baking soda, 
and 3 4 cup of all-purpose flour. And now I'm going to mix it. And after I mix it, I'm just going to put it into the um, non-stick pan. Oh, sorry. This is blocking my view. So, we did a little bit of organic milk and organic egg. Still great value though. And Other brands are usually more expensive and there is no point spending an extra cent if we don't have to. I can't help it that my husband is riding on my coattails. I made almost the same as him last year. But I would like to preface this that for three years he was making like a third of what I was making. And now? I am currently working as a mother. This is the ultimate sacrifice. What do you have to say, Dadu? And now? Okay, keep going. Well, as a mother, you cannot put a price. He could not hire a better caretaker than me. I could not. And so... That is very true. I'm going to put my price at $1 million. That's cheap. I'll put $5 million. <laughs> you can't afford that. Daddy has so many chores, but instead he tells me, st while standing here, accusing me of not making money, that... You make a lot of money. A lot. What I provide is a service that nobody, no other woman can provide. For our baby, that's correct. <laughs> what other baby are you talking about? Seriously. <laughs> Oh, be careful. Can you put it on the ground? What if it shatters? And I sit down and say, oh shoot! <laughs> oh, I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. Please, someone come and clean it. So I did not be so I'm like, I am truly traumatized. This man is so mean to him. He's bringing back the past when I broke my favorite pot, the lid. Anytime something breaks or something goes away, it suddenly becomes a big bridge. <laughs> well, that's why you have to go away as my husband because then you'll be my favorite husband. By the way, this is my um, banana pudding that I made yesterday. As you can see, the, the two separate layers and my husband... This is very good. Uh, thank you. I paid him to say that. A little bit of jalapeno into the scrambled eggs because my husband likes it and a little bit of tomato. It makes, it, it makes you live longer. Oh my goodness, it does. Okay, so I'm putting that in and a little bit of onions. Uh, one thing that I bought for the pancake is this spatula which makes it so much easier to lift it towards the pancake. So this is a setup. The pancakes have been really messed up because I transferred um, pans and the Jimmy Dean sausage kind of removing the oil and then those are the eggs right here Ta -da. and Bebu of course is eating too she's oh my gosh she's self-eating so right now I'm going to be putting on a face mask as I edit one of my videos and Bebu is right here by me. Let me show you. Aha, there she is. All right, so I'm doing the same one that I did last time. It's the vitamin C and collagen face mask. Okay, one second. Second, I'm healing. My husband's making okra in the background, and I am my alone time. I am doing my own alone time. I'm also pumping right now. I'm supplying baby with some food. I'm trying to build a stash for her too.
Okay. Let's see if Babel recognizes me. Because she is definitely not afraid whatsoever. Merry Christmas together. This was our thing to do together. She's breached the rules today. It's a breach of trust. <laughs>